This is the learning demonstration. We have uh, uh, first we will do the cartilage, and we have paired and unpaired cartilage. The unpaired cartilage. The, this is the first one, the thyroid cartilage. We have the cricoid cartilage. It forms a complete ring. It is the only complete uh, cartilage here. It forms a complete circle. And we have the epiglottis. So they are unpaired. Now, for the paired cartilage, we have two uh, arytenoid cartilage, two corniculate, and two cuneiforms. And they are not cuneiforms are not changing. Thirty-three is the corniculate. Uh, now, by doing firstly the thyroid cartilage, uh, some uh, prominent feature we can see here is number 15 it is the uh, laryngeal prominence which is uh, prominent in men because of the angle of it will be uh, less in men so it's more prominent and here this is very important this is the oblique line of the thyroid cartilage many there's the structures that related to this we will mention later uh, also for the thyroid here is you can see uh, the, the attachment. This is called the inferior horn of the uh, thyroid cartilage, the inferior horn. And basically, it is here the, where it's attached to the cricoid cartilage. So it's called the articular surface of the thyroid cartilage. Um, we mentioned the cricoid. It is one complete and the epiglottis. Uh, now, for the cricoid, we have uh, this is the arch of the cricoid anteriorly. Okay, if you go posteriorly, you will see the lamina of the cricoid. You can appreciate how it is more larger than the, the lamina is larger than the arch of the cricoid. Now, now we will want to uh, see, uh, before we're going to this, we will mention for the bone here. Here we have the hyoid bone. This is the hyoid bone. This is the lesser horn of the hyoid bone. Here are lesser horn and greater horn of the hyoid bone. Okay, now we will mention the membranes that we can here appreciate it and uh, easily to be traced. Now, firstly, we have, this is the cricoid, this is the thyroid. So we have the cricothyroid membrane and it is thickened anteriorly here. It forms the median cricothyroid ligament. Okay, more laterally, it, is, uh, it will be thin. It is like real membrane here, not a ligament. And in its upper margin, a free upper margin here it will form the vocal ligament vocal ligament or the vocal uh, cord here piece and this is called the conus elasticus so you can say this is the conus elasticus okay okay so we have another membrane which is this is thyroid uh, cartilage this is the hyoid so we have thyro hyoid membrane not shown in this model uh, we, it is more clear in this model. Okay, so you can see here, this is the thyrohyoid membrane. It has two areas where it is thickened, forming a ligament. So here we have the, uh, okay, so this is the median uh, thyrohyoid ligament. This is the membrane. And if you go posteriorly here, you will see the lateral, this one and this one, not this one. This one and this one, the lateral thyrohyoid ligament. Now for this one, this is called the reticular uh, cartilage. And here is also, look here, I'm going laterally, um, posteriorly. So this is the 21, reticular cartilage. Okay? Okay. So, uh, so this is the reticular cartilage, 21. This is the lateral thyrohyoid ligament now this one the seven the 17 basically it is the superior horn of the thyroid cartilage uh, we say here's the inferior horn where the attachment with the cricoid here's the superior horn of the thyroid cartilage returning back to this model now there's something very important here in this model this opening what pass in this opening now there's nerve and artery pass in this opening which are the the artery the superior i will show you here it is more clear Look here. Uh, we have the superior laryngeal artery, this one, which is coming from the superior thyroid artery. Okay? This artery will pierce the membrane going inside. There's a nerve will be, uh, and it will pass with this artery. And this nerve is basically the internal laryngeal nerve, which is a branch of the superior laryngeal nerve, which is a branch of the vagus nerve. 
okay so this twisted structure will be here in this uh, opening in the thyrohyoid membrane uh, okay there are two ligaments here they are not shown in this model but just to mention it between the hyoid and the epiglottis which is called the hyoepiglottic ligament you can see it in the slides uh, and we have the thyroepiglottic ligament now here going inferiorly we have uh, between the this is the cricoid cartilage okay and this is the trachea the tracheal rings صح? so we have between the cricoid cartilage and the first tracheal ring this membrane or oh, this uh, Cricotracheal ligament here. Cricotracheal ligament. So between the cricoid and the first uh, uh, tracheal ring. Okay? And this is 53, first tracheal ring. And we have these are the uh, annular ligament. I think the annular ligament is the ligament between the tracheal rings. Annular ligament. Okay, and lastly, if we go posteriorly, we will see here this uh, written in the catalog as a membranous wall of the trachea. Okay?